Hey guys, welcome to game four between Rancor and Masuchi of set three of Fighting Spirit Mania. Upper left hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the hot pink Zerg. Bottom left hand corner, we have Masuchi starting as the light pink Zerg. I was thinking about doing color swap, but you know what? I think I'm going to keep it this time. Looks like both players are going to get the initial Overlord Scout on one another, and we'll see how that creates adjustments in their play. Currently, Masuchi up a match over Rancor, so the pressure is on. Guys, <laughs> comments in chat. Feels like I have been uh, commentating Masuchi for a month, and it really has been that case, and actually, I'm not upset about that. I've been enjoying Masuchi's play. Fe same with Rancor. I like seeing these guys. BSL Season 14, by the way, just around the corner. Be sure to sign up for that if you haven't already and start laddering or check out CPL if you want to learn the game. Honestly, if you are a newer player, there's still Chobo League to go out there and play. And again, community support for like a cost of a, a cup of coffee. You can go out and uh, donate to Patreon. Or, you know, $5 sub. Not that much. And I think it's worth the entertainment. Nine pool both sides. Gas a little bit earlier for Rancor. And so this situation, first of all, this is going to be an interesting indication of micro skill. Because both overlords are going to see each other. So they're going to have intel of each other's base. They're opening up identical builds. Potentially, we're going to see Rancor go for the Sutton Colony style again. Let's see if he opts to do that this time. He does have the drones moving up. So there's going to be some critical differences the first critical difference is who gets Zergling speed, or if, or do they go Zergling speed? And the second critical difference is, is like, do they go for the full set? So it looks like six Zerglings on this side, six Zerglings on the other. Interesting, I felt like that spawning pool went down earlier for Rancor, but came out a little bit later. It looks like some one drone is pulling off minerals here. No Zergling speed being upgraded yet for Rancor, so it looks like he does want to go straight to Lair, where on the opposite side of the map, we do see Zergling speed being produced from Masuchi, and as far as just a flat ground game, that is going to give him an advantage. Eight more Zerglings being produced. The follow-up Zerglings being produced right there, so there's going to be a window here, where if Rancor can, where basically Masuchi's going to have speed links, but otherwise there needs to be, over Rancor's just normal links, which they're just smarter. Interesting, these Zerglings going out I think this is intentional to try to go for an end around. These are staying at home base. Are these two Zerglings going to stay at home to be able to engage? It looks like they're starting to move out. They have to know that they need to stay. Yeah, okay, they're staying at home base, knowing the situation. These Zerglings pulling back for Rancor. And I think this Overlord also seeing the layer timing. Well, I don't know that he's going to have an idea of the layer timing because you can't just tell by the, the morph. These two Zerglings able to slip through the lines. So Rancor up a drone, but that might, not, that might not last for long. This has certainly disrupted mining time. The drone trying to get an attack. One drone goes down. And in the razor-thin matchup that this is, also, I think, saw that layer finish. So big advantages there. Masuchi now up two drones. But the Spire morphing a little bit earlier. Oh, man, it's going to be a sliver. And so maybe an Overlord gets taken out earlier. But currently, Masuchi... Holding the lead. Second drone being added on. Masuchi, I think, planning on pushing out after the Spire and potentially grabbing his natural expansion. Overlord's going to get sacked on both sides. These Zerglings kind of pocking out the corner just to make sure that a sneaky expansion wasn't taken anywhere. Rancor piling up Zerglings on the ramp. I don't know how much he's going to be able to get done. And I, I think that's wise to actually keep those Zerglings in a defensive slot. Especially knowing that there is a Spire that's being built on the opposite side of the map. Rancor somehow managed to sneak up an Overlord in the midst of this. But thus far, advantage theoretically to Masuchi. Overlord's trying to escape. Maybe if some Zerglings dive in and create a distraction, might be able to save an Overlord either way. This is kind of clever from Rancor. He's trying to take it at an angle. He might be able to... I'm wondering how what the decision tree is going to be here. Is he going to go for the nearby Overlord, take the free win, or is he going to try to defend his... I feel like take the free win at the nearby Overlord, right? Missed a, a larva here, which actually might slow down Mutalisk production just slightly. A second in-base hatchery being built for Masuchi. Actually, even before that Spire finishes, 
Is he going to still have enough? Actually, with the timing of it, still might have enough to build three Mutalisks. It's just there's going to be a good a handful of second delay. Yeah, the Zerglings testing that front door to try to sneak something out. Three Mutalisks being built on the opposite side. So the Mutalisks flying out are going to have a bit of time. They're going to go ahead and try to catch. Are they... Yeah, they're going to go ahead and pick off the near Overlord. This Overlord might be able to escape. These Zerglings need to keep an eye on it. But with the timing of this, it looks like Rancor is going to be able to take out an Overlord and potentially defend and preserve his own. Close reinforcement points. Masuchi now in the red. And this is the opportunity for Rancor to kind of sneak back in. More mules being produced. So this is going to be about dead even numbers. But right now... Masuchi, yeah, can't build anything additionally, which is going to give Rancor an opportunity to maybe do some damage. Actually, moving forward, might get some Zerdling shots. Coming down to some moving attack micro, there's four Mutalisks on this side. Five Mutalisks, however, for Rancor. Checking that and re-engaging, that does force the Zerglings off the line. These are kind of dedicated, though, and they're going to eat a lot of free damage. So Masuchi faltering a little bit. Some nice movement micro there by Rancor, able to pick up a number of Zerglings. And now the supply advantage significantly in Rancor's favor. However, in base second hatchery is there for Masuchi. So he's got more lava, more larva to work with. However, we'll see if this translates into wins. Uh, a couple emergency scourge being produced. More mules being fielded. The supply counts again pushing about to even. Rancor running into... Actually, supply blocking himself, I think, maybe a little bit there. I'm wondering when he's going to have an opportunity to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. Currently, definitely up in the Mutalisk count. The Zergling's starting to move out. Or is he just going to get aggressive? So eight Mutalisks versus, uh, what is this, eight on the opposite side plus uh, a Scourge out in the air. I think the other Scourge must have gone out to scout and maybe gotten picked off. Only eight Zerglings on the natural expansion. They're scooting out to go ahead and get some scouting information. Natural expansion's been grabbed. The Mutalisks are moving forward. Rancor has not seen it. And all of his units are out of position. And might have to cancel this hatchery. But he is opting to go for a base trade, potentially. He's bringing these Mutalisks back. The rest of the Zergling's flooding forward. Thinking he's got a superior Zergling count, which he in fact does. More Zerglings have been produced for Masuchi. Masuchi all of a sudden up in supply. The hatchery wasn't forced uh, cancel, but took a significant amount of damage. But now a lot of Zerg maybe this forced a lot of Zerglings to be produced on Masuchi's side. So Rancor not able to puncture through. A big engagement here. Eight Mutalisks versus a superior count for Masuchi in the opposite end. And Rancor's supply plummeting. And I'm wondering if the difference was is uh, going for, yeah, level one armor. Went for level 1 armor in the midst of that, which kept a smaller Mutalisk count. Wasn't able to engage before, as the level 1 armor was in place. And as a result, having a fewer amount of Mutalisks, Misushi able to win the engagement before it comes online. Well played by Misushi. He's going to go up three games and is on the verge from taking his second set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.